Oh yeah. Greetings ladies and germs, Elton McFall here, aka Retro Old School. And as a matter of fact, I'm probably more old school than ever because most of today's things, even if they're not things, they're shit usually, so not to be negative, but hey, I'm part Quebecois, Irish, and a Capricorn. On a positive note, to go along with this beautiful vintage French-Canadian architecture here in the Plateau Mont-Royal of the city of Montreal is this beautiful 1980s Chevy Monte Carlo SS. A car that was V8 powered probably by a 305 as usual. The only engine I think for this car but uh, not exactly uh, in these years with power for many years. Not really any power but again it's a V8. It's a fucking indestructible motor. Uh, parts availability even today is amazing get everything mechanically for these cars as with other GM cars of that time and uh, it's a nice example it's a nice white beauty yeah Chevrolet what year is it I'm gonna say this is a I think it's about early 80s early mid 80s 84 85 it's about the fucking lighting is pretty shite right now because it's like high noon High noon, man. Yeah, the SS Monte Carlo. And if you don't know too much about old cars, SS, whether it was a Monte Carlo or a Camaro or Impala, stood for Super Sport. Which was more of a trim option than anything else. You know, it wasn't really, uh, didn't really necessarily mean the car itself had more power or performance. It had those beautiful, it even has the correct original stock mag wheels. Fuck, even the tires are decent. That's a nice automobile, man. And I hear somebody playing Al McLean in the background. American Pie. How fitting. How fitting indeed. Let's see here. Yeah. Very typical, uh, typical uh, mid-80s. Uh, how should I call this color in the interior? It's like a very deep red, like kind of a wine red color. Um, I had a friend who recently sold his 87 Fleetwood Brome, unfortunately, and, and it was the same thing. It was white, dark red inside. So that would say probably, my guess, 86, uh, 85. Because I think in 87, they did a one-year thing like the Cutlass and the Regal where they had the, uh, the new halogen lamps, right? And everything was becoming, you know, two headlights instead of four. And uh, what else can I tell you? I mean, uh, see this whole pr front piece here? This is all fiberglass or plastic. That's why it's uneven. But so what? Okay, so these cars had a lot of plastic in them. But man, it's, it, what do you think happened as years went on? Jesus Christ, I was just thinking about my cousins yesterday. They both have Mazda 3s, or sorry, they had Mazda 3s for a while, like so many people. Yeah, they're great cars, they're great on gas and so forth, and they have all these technologically advanced things about them, but they're so fucking cheap, man. You're right in this, you feel like a fucking king, for Christ's sake. There's still lots of metal, lots of steel in this. It just feels very solid. It's a typical uh, a, a GM uh, high-quality ride and reliability, you know? Same thing with the automatic transmission, the turbo hydromatic. And, you know, I just noticed that that fucking plate is old, man. It's all discolored. Could be original owner, maybe. Look at that, it's got the original fucking sticker on it. Claremont Chevrolet Oldsmobile, sold right here in Montreal. That's awesome, you don't see that too often, really. You don't see that too often. Look at that with these gorgeous, gorgeous home. I'd love to have a home like this, but uh, I've, they're having lived in an apartment with these annoying, shitty little windows for like seven years, always in the darkness, practically. It's it's not really uh, much fun anymore. It's uh, it's It's beautiful. But like so many things in life that seem very appealing can be very deceiving over time, you know? So anyway, that's about it. And I'm just uh, having a one last gander here. Yeah, I can see some sun fade on the seat there. That's typical. My friend's caddy was like that too. Probably, I would say, has over 100,000 100, miles or kilometers. Other than that, it's a beautiful old car, you know? 
I'm sure there's a lot of Italians or Greeks would be proud to own that. <laughs> and some of you are going to say, Elton, you're a fucking asshole. You're racist. I'm not prejudiced. I hate everybody equally. Fuck. Love and hate everybody equally. And let me tell you something. If I make a joke about that reference to Greeks and Italians, okay, you fucking know what I'm talking about. If you're a car guy, you know what exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay? People think I'm Italian, for Christ's sake. Because a lot of guys were Italian and Greeks. What do they love? They love these cars, they love Camaros, Trans Ams, Mustangs, Firebirds, and all the like. Because people, a lot of people are predictable. Same thing when it comes to car guys, you got your Audi guys, and your Audi guys are usually BMW guys, and the guys who love fucking Sobs, they love Volvos, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. Anyway, happy to see that. I'm going to continue my trek here towards Rue Mont Royal, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Hasta luego. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. Well, hey there, boys and girls, Elton again. Uh, okay, I'm so used to saying that as my introduction, but look at this. I was just on the bus, and what do I see is, again, the same elk. 81 to what, 87? Monte Carlo SS, or an SS clone, for that matter, because you could black out all the chrome easily with paint, you know, and goose it up a little bit. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Little two-for-one job, you know? funny because I know the guy who has this uh, this Midas garage he's a really cool guy very swell guy definitely not the type of mechanic burnt out from owning a business for so long and being a mechanic very uh, very friendly guy his name is Greg I wonder if this is his car actually because he kept telling me over the years about his uh, what the hell is this what is this USA Chevy City okay so that's Probably from some dealer with that name. I like, I like those pipes, man. Those dual pipes. Yeah, it makes sense for me to get off too because I'm right next to Fire Station. What is it? Uh, 64. Maybe they'll get a response. Probably not. The interior, huh? typical gray. Huh? If it's a gray. Oh, power windows. Power windows. Floor shifter. Looks like this one's loaded pretty well, actually. That's what people are looking for with old cars. It's rarity and options, color, wheels, condition, engines. That is a sweet ride. I have to say, I'm not a big fan of the colors, you know, like this and the white one you just saw, but I don't think I'm more partial than silver on this guy, actually. It's a nice car, man. Man, in this day and age, these are almost boats, aren't they? Right, compared to these stupid fucking Nissan Leafs and this fucking Toyota, whatever, Echo, I hate him. Hate him! Especially since yesterday, I was, thanks to a friend of mine, I was lucky to go for a ride. Hey, there's still a smoke left in that Demoria, but I was uh, lucky to go for a ride with my friend's uh, 72 Buick Centuria. Now, there's an automobile just like this. Even, in my opinion, a high, uh, higher caliber than this. Whoa, we're not going to step here because there's a big cobweb. Anyway, so, thanks for watching. Take care. That's it. That's all. Uh, coming to you, not live here in Montreal. Bye-bye. Hey, look at that, just to go along with things. Here's a Monte Carlo here in the, again, the same elk, same year as just like the other ones you saw. This one a project, obviously, but looks pretty good, though. Looks like a good uh, good candidate for restoration right here in the Côte des Neiges sector. I was just making a walking video. How tired are you of the fucking flat black thing as I am, eh? I mean, even though this kind of suits these cars, but still, meh. Makes me think of the one Julian drove in the trailer park, boys, eh? <laughs> it's just like that, no? Oh no, it was older than this actually, that's right. Same body, but the front uh, front end grill and all that is different. <laughs> hey, what's happening guys? There's another Monty here of whatever the hell generation this is. I think this is the third, uh, fourth generation. Another uh, another uh, mid-80s SS. Very nice. And uh, I don't know what the hell street I'm on. I was doing a walking video here. This will go along with the three other Monte, Monte Carlos of this type. And this might be the nicest one I've seen out of the out of the four. Actually, one of them is a shit box, but anyway. She's driven too, she's enjoyed, which is great. Because doesn't it seem more than ever that life is just getting shorter all the time, eh? Right on. <laughs>